Well, and I think, you know, I think that that is, I guess, one of the beauties of AGI coming in is it is it opens this up to a much broader group of plans that, you know, in the past may not have been eligible for rewards factor. So it changes the game, um, but but it truly fundamentally and forever changes the math for for the higher performing plans, right? And and I think while then focusing on what you should be doing around the HEI thing, I think it's a good step, you know, no matter what. I think it's the logical step, especially when they say reward factor is being replaced by HEI. But I also think that there are a lot of plans that are traditionally getting reward factor that aren't going to be eligible for HEI going forward. And so when I think about this, I go a slightly different route about counterbalance strategies. Like no matter where you are on HEI, what could you be doing right now, you know, to get ahead of this? Um, you know, there are basic things like just looking at the broad measure groups, especially considering the weight changes coming up. You know, where are you? Uh, where do you have opportunities to to bump some of this up to begin to bridge some of that gap? Um, another piece is the the quality improvement measures, right? You know, that was going to be the biggest thing in this in this proposed rule that didn't ever make it to the final rule, but we ended up putting a ton of thought to that in case it was going to, to happen. But I think that's a really significant thing because especially a lot of the high performing plans, you, let's, let's say four and a half, five star. Um, it, you didn't have to focus so much on QI in the past because you knew you weren't going to have to use it. Right. Um, but now I think it becomes much more of a focus in case it ever they follow through on any of the proposed rule that they talked about, get ahead of this, start working on it now. But even if it doesn't, if you can figure out how to squeeze above some of those thresholds for quali- for significant improvement, you know, those are two five weighted measures that can go a really long way in covering 20, 30, 40, you know, basis point gap that just comes up, right?